Hi, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Today we're looking at a commercial gas dryer. It's a Kenmore. Okay, so when removing the top, of course, um, these screws must be removed. These two screws. And then you can pry this up. Once you've released the nut that is inside here, it holds the top in place. There's a security nut. It's a half inch nut. You didn't need a long socket to pull that security nut off. Also, you need to clean out your coin box so that the coins do not back up in the coin box. If the coins are backed up in the coin box, then the slider might not work correctly. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, uh, how this thing works. First of all, I wanted to let you know about this is the thermal cutoff fuse. And so this fuse is located in the back behind this panel. This one, we didn't have to replace it. Usually the thermal cutoff fuse will go bad when the vent vent is kinked or there's poor flow in or exiting the room. This thermo fuse is a one time, it's a non-resettable fuse, it has to be replaced when it's burnt out. Your dryer may not heat or may not come on if this fuse is bad. And it is located underneath this panel here, the silver panel on the blower housing. There's a blower housing behind this panel and you'll see this part with two wires connected to it. Basically, if you put a meter on it, you should show continuity. If there's no continuity, the fuse is blown. The fuse is blown for a reason. It's either because the vent is kinked or there's poor flow entering or exiting the room. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a little bit of a trick to see if your dryer is working. Basically, if you look down here, you see the little viewport. And so once you turn it on, you should be able to look inside there and first see the igniter glow for about 10, 15 seconds. And then you'll see the flame ignite. And then we also want to check the action on the lid, on the door switch. And once again, you should hear it click on the door switch and the door switch should spring back. And that would uh, indicate to me that the door switch is good. If you question that, you should probably also put a meter on it. Here is where your model number is found, usually inside the door somewhere. And first thing I do normally is I'll check the flame sensor. The flame sensor basically senses the, the heat from the igniter. And if you have a meter and you set it on continuity, and of course you want to unplug your unit um, make sure it's turned off because these wires can be hot so we want to check for continuity here and so at this point uh, we see we do have continuity we're searching for a closed loop basically and so next thing i did was check these coils. Now this particular coil here, the two terminal coil on this one commonly goes out. It's usually the first one to go out. And if I check this with a meter for continuity, um, basically there's no continuity. There's no closed loop in that coil right there. 
So that means that coil has to be replaced. And on this one, if we connect these two terminals here, we should show a closed loop. And if it's open, then we need to replace it. If we go to the next one here, we should also see a closed loop. And so to check the igniter, see I've already found the problem, so I'm not gonna uh, search any further because this coil here is bad. Some of the newer ones have a single double coil, so it's a single part that replaces both coils. And so to check the igniter, basically you would carefully disconnect here, very carefully disconnect, and check for continuity and or check for voltage output on these black and white wires. Now, if your dryer does not come on at all, it could be that your door switch is bad. If you don't hear a click on that door switch, that door switch is bad. But this one is good because we do hear the click. And here's a little disclaimer for you. And so the other thing you want to check, of course, is your vent. If your vent has any kinks in it, you want to fix that. This one looks fairly decent, so we're going to leave that one alone. I have to be careful not to uh, allow debris to um, pile up behind the dryer because this area uh, is, will be heating up. And the also, the other thing is you always want to have air flow into the room, coming into the room and uh, make sure that on the other end of your vent, it's clear, you don't have any bushes or anything out there behind where that vent exits. So that's your tip for today. Thanks for watching. I give phone advice for a donation. You can call me 707-443-8347 Pacific Time, 9 to 9 p.m., 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. I also have a uh, course which involves a link to over 100 repair videos and my personal coaching advice in the business for 15 years. I sell that training course. It's all pretty much online. And so if you're interested in that, you can contact me as well. Applianceworks at yahoo.com. If this video helped you, or if you'd like to support reuse and recycling worldwide, please send me a donation. It's Bill's Recycling Enterprises, PL Box 7021, Eureka, California, 95502. Thank you. And so now I'm going to show you how to look inside the viewport. Once again, the igniter will glow for about 15 or 20 seconds. Then the flame should ignite. See the igniter glowing. And there's the flame. So this dryer is theoretically working good now. We want to try that three times. You want to try that three times in a row because sometimes the coils will older coils will act intermittently. So we want to try it three times, third time's a charm. Look for the glow and then the ignition. Now 
this may take a little while because it's already heated up. So we hear the click. The click indicates the igniter should be glowing or should start to glow. And we see the igniter glowing and we should see the flame soon. And there's the flame. And so try that three times just to be sure.